I know that many of you, your eyes will light up when you hear of the word passive income because it seems like so easy, so good, right? Just sleep and then you can collect money. But the truth about passive income is that it requires capital. And in capital, I'm not just talking about money. I'm also talking about time to build the asset so that it can bring you some kind of return, either dividends, interest, cash flow, and rental. So if anyone is telling you that passive income, you don't need a huge capital or you don't need time to spend on it, I think you need to be a little bit wary, which is why in this video, I'll talk about how you can earn a passive income of $1,000 per month. But of course, that will require some capital. And how much capital are we talking about? I'll go through and sum up in the end of this video. Now, to put into context, I started recording about my passive income cash flow since May of last year. So it has been about 10 months now. And the average passive income that I receive every month is above $2,000 steadily. So if you ask me whether passive income is possible or not, I would say yes, it is possible. But this is based on the assumption that you have some capital set aside into these passive income instruments. And some of it will come with a little bit of risk, I must forewarn you. But in this video, I'll just break down a few passive income sources that are significantly lower risk compared to what you may expect them to be. And I'll base it on a 30-day period, which is around one month. But do not take anything I say as financial advice, right? If you think I'm talking rubbish, just treat it as financial entertainment will do. And if you would like to join like-minded individuals to build their passive income, then come and join us at over 14,000 members at the Honey Money SG Telegram group. Alright, the first passive income source will come from the bank interest and specifically, I'm going to talk about the UOB1 account. UOB1 account needs no further explanation. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. 5% effective interest on the first $100,000 of savings provided you meet these two criteria, which is to spend $500 on selected UOB credit or debit cards. And secondly, you need to credit a salary of minimum $1,600 by gyro or pay now. So it is quite clear cut, right? Firstly, you need to have that capital of $100,000 Singapore dollars first. Then secondly, you need to at least hit $500 of credit card spend plus you credit your salary. Therefore, if you just want to calculate per day, how much interest can you get? We will take 5% over 365 days multiplied by $100,000, which is around $13.70 a day. So on a 30-day period, you just need to take 30 days multiplied by $13.70 and you will get $411, which is also why in some months, example last month in February, your bonus interest seems a bit lower because February only has 29 days. So per day, $13.70, you need to multiply by how many calendar days are there in that month. So the first passive income was sure quite straightforward, right? $100,000 of capital, then you get $411 per 30 days. The second passive income source, it is also quite low risk and it's called Scythe Cash Plus Guaranteed. And I'm sure not just Scythe Cash Plus Guaranteed, but there are also other platforms also offering kind of similar. And if you're not familiar with Scythe Cash Plus Guaranteed, it is actually an investment product whereby it gets all the best fixed deposit rates from various banks and they pull together to form a good product with relatively good returns. So it is kind of similar to fixed deposit nature. You need to put it into a fixed term and during this term, you cannot withdraw out the funds and hence you can only see your funds after the term has ended. Now, as of the date of recording, Scythe Cash Plus guaranteed the highest rate is at 3.8% per annum for the three months tenure. So assuming I'm only comfortable to put in $24,000 into this Cash Plus guarantee for three months, the calculation will be as follows, 3.8% multiplied by 24,000 multiplied by 30 divided by 365 days. And that will be $75 for that 30-day period. So far, how much have you invested already? 100,000 UOB1, 24,000 in Scythe Cash Plus guaranteed. And you get a passive income of 411 plus 75, which is around $486. Not too bad already. Moving on, let's talk about the third option, which is money market funds. And specifically, I do want to talk about Momo Cash Plus, who is the sponsor of today's video. I know that investments may sound really complicated and it is quite scary to start off with really large amounts. So if you want to start with smaller amounts, then you can consider to use Momo Regular Savings Plan or RSP to dollar cost average into your favorite US stocks or ETF. To set up RSP, select your stock or ETF on Momo app, click the three dots on the right and then RSP. Start with minimum 10 US dollars and select contribution frequency from weekly, every two weeks, monthly or daily. Momo also has a new RSP calculator where if you put in your desired stock or ETF and put in the dates, they can show you the historical results based on the past trend. And then if you want, you can even create an RSP from there. 
For new to Moomoo users, you can get up to 447 Singapore dollars on Moomoo Cash Plus based on the 6.8% per annum guaranteed return applied on the first 80,000 Singapore dollars of your holding. Please note that Moomoo Cash Plus is an investment product. It is not comparable and is different from savings deposits. Principal is not guaranteed and up to 30 days, 6.8% per annum is guaranteed only during the promotional period. Also, you can get up to four stock bundles of the top five traded US stocks worth $70 each and one Apple stock worth of 243 Singapore dollars. And if you sign up with my exclusive link, you can get a bonus 20 Singapore dollars cash coupon. Total rewards value of 990 Singapore dollars. Holding period and buy trade applies. Investment in capital market products involves risk and the risk of losing principal. For more details, please refer to the promotional page in the description below. As a bonus, you can redeem 2 US dollars cashback when you make a buy trade of at least 100 US dollars on US stocks through RSP. Start investing with Mumu RSP with my exclusive link here or Scan the QR code right here to get your Momo SG Universal account today. And yes, I know that the UOB1 account is going to get nerfed from May onwards because the video was produced some time back and the news was quite recent about the UOB1 account. So that is some very bad news. But don't forget that Momo has also launched the new Investmaster campaign where you can still get that 6.8% per annum guaranteed return on Momo Cash Plus. So now, instead of the usual 3 point something percent, you can participate in the Invest Master campaign and get 6.8% per annum up to 60 days. So I guess you win some and you lose some. So assuming I just want to put $50,000 into Momo Cash Plus and it is subscribed at 6.8% per annum guaranteed, then the total return after 30 days will be 6.8% multiplied by 50,000 multiplied by 30 divided by 365. And that will be $280 for 30 days period. But I know what some of you are going to say. This 6.8% is only a promo rate. So after the promo rate, where got so good returns? Never mind. Then I'll use a lower estimate. I'm going to use 3.7% per annum because 3.7% per annum is kind of the annualized rate based on the past few months that I use Mumu Cash Plus. But Past performance is not a guarantee of future performance. Uh. Let's get this disclaimer in. So assuming 3.7% per annum and then the subscription amount is $50,000, that will be 3.7% multiplied by 50,000 multiplied by 30 divided by 365. And you'll get a total return of $152 after 30 days. So not bad, right? We are already adding up to the previous passive income assuming you have this amount of capital. Let's move forward. Next option, I'll talk about dividend stocks. And for dividend stocks, I'm going to use a dividend yield of 5.5% per annum. Know that dividend stocks carry a certain level of risk because this time you're doing stock picking, right? You're picking all these companies who are distributing dividends and at a rate of at least 5.5% per annum. Do such companies really exist in Singapore? Then I can show you with some facts that such companies do exist. Specifically, just the three banks alone, most of them are giving at least 5.5% per annum in terms of the dividend yield. Even like OCBC can give up to 6% per annum based on the recording date price. So assuming I have $50,000 invested into any of these three banks, at a 5.5% dividend yield, here is the calculation, 5.5% multiplied by $50,000 multiplied by 30 divided by 365. And I'll get a monthly dividend of $226. Take note that if a company distributes dividends, they are paying from their own profits, which means that they don't have this money to reinvest back into their business. So the share price after the ex-dividend dividend date will usually fall by the same amount of dividends distributed. That is something that you have to take note um, because dividend stocks is not like some low risk thing actually. It involves some kind of risk that you are supposed to undertake especially in this kind of volatile market. So I hope that the disclaimer is clear enough. Let's move on to our next passive income source. Relatively much lower risk and that will be Singapore Treasury bills. The last Treasury bill result gave a cutoff yield of 3.8% per annum which is pretty great. So assuming I just want to subscribe to $50,000 of T-bills at 3.8% that will be $50,000 multiplied by 3.8% multiplied by 30 divided by 365 which will give me $156 of return and you see the beauty about T-bills is that you not only can use cash you can also use CPF you can also use SRS so if your cash capital is not large enough you can even deploy CPF or SRS funds to subscribe to T-bills and then get all these low risk returns and these are my 5 options for relatively low risk assets that can gain you $1,000 of passive income because let's sum up the total passive income right $411 from you will be one seventy five dollars from side cash plus guaranteed one hundred and fifty two dollars from mumu cash plus two hundred and twenty six dollars from dividend stocks like banks and lastly one hundred and fifty six dollars from singapore treasury bills so everything will sum up to a total of one thousand and twenty dollars over a 30 day period so you can treat it as a monthly passive income then how much capital is required let's go through them again 
100,000 from UOB1 account, 24,000 from Sai Cash Plus guaranteed, 50,000 from Mumu Cash Plus, 50,000 into dividend stocks like banks, and $50,000 into Singapore Treasury bills. If you add all these numbers up, it will sum up to a total of $274,000. Then I'm just going to do all the calculation for you. What is the total effective return? Because you will earn $1,020 of passive income over 30 days, right? That will be $1,020. Divide by 274,000, multiply by 365, divide by 30 days, which means an annualized yield of 4.53% per annum. Of course, terms and conditions apply, I know. And past performance does not guarantee future results. This is a calculation based on the current date of recording. But I guess for this portfolio, it is considered relatively low risk other than the dividend stocks. And I'm sure there are many other ways to make passive income, especially through property rentals. And I know that there are some of you out there with even better passive income sources than me. So take your time and learn from all these resources across the internet. Then pick those that you want to learn from. And I just want to put it out there that all this does not include my credit card strategies to earn cash back or even bonus. And for those of you who haven't watched what's my actual passive income from all these cash saving strategy, then I can refer you to a previous video right here.